Yo guys, so these are the dual nans for Jester. Kind of both done right here. Hell yes, and.
Yo guys, so this is the console for Brandon, and they both wanted uh, the MW3 sound, so got that done. The CR4 is installed, the Dolman is installed. And that is what that sounds like. So then this is Jester's console. He also wanted the MW3 sound. I'll grab this off right here. Yep. Now we're going to do the LEDs.
Yo guys, what is up? So this is Jester's console. We got the CR4 in there, as you saw before. You wanted uh, remote LEDs. And I gotta do the uh, the actual fan. I'm gonna make it so it, it runs at like, I think it's like 7 7.70 .7 volts or something like that. So it'll be running on both uh, both NANDs. So, cause this is a dual NAND. He also wanted the, uh, the actual the USB right here, so I, that's why I had to cut the uh, the vent, as you guys could see. So let me go ahead and get that stuff done. And here we go.
Yo guys, so this is what the cutout is gonna look like. And as you could as you just saw, you were seeing me actually design everything and I didn't know how to make this perfectly curve like that, so that's why it took so long. But we got it figured out and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, go in the machine and start cutting this out. All right guys, so this is done. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Let me show you guys the finishing. Well, it's not, not finished exactly, but. So this is the way Jester requested it. He wanted to keep those, um, those chrome lines right there from the case. He wanted that one as well. This is exactly how I wanted it, so. It looks pretty good. There's no mess up, so go ahead and take this apart and finish up the case. Okay, so here is the case. I cleaned off the little dust and everything. Um, so there's that one, and then also, I have uh, Brandon's cut out done which I totally forgot to record um, I just got to clean out the little bit of residue right there and uh, I'm gonna completely wash these so it'll be perfect Alright, so if, you, if I haven't mentioned already, the battery in this camera sucks so bad. And I was recording, and it's even on charge. This is the charger for it. It's on charge right now. And it just, it does not stay on, even when it's on the charger. So, uh, I didn't get all of the footage, but I got most of it. Uh, but yeah, this is done. So, I just gotta clean it up now. I gotta get rid of that residue and just, you know, clean up some of the dirt spots with you might be able to see, I don't know. But that is done. And then Jester's cutout is done. Which is really clean. His case is really clean and honestly doesn't need to be like washed, washed or whatever, but I'm still gonna do it. Um, and then this one. So yep. So the last things that I need to do is I need to cut out the plexiglass. I need to wash them and Let's see what else. He uh, Jester wants 
his name engraved on plexiglass, which engraving it is a pain in the ass with the CNC machine. If I had a laser cutter, it would be so much easier, but um, we're going to do that in this video as well. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and finish this shit up. Yo guys, so hopefully you can see me good. It's my first time recording like this. This is the, the bottom piece, the, the little window. And then this is the uh, the actual top window. And this is the one that's gonna get uh, plexiglass engraved. So hopefully that goes well. I'm kind of scared about that because the last one that I did, uh, well not the last one, I think it was the very first one that I did. I, I took a lot of tries to get it correct. It's, it's really hard to, to do a like a plexiglass engraving with a, with a CNC bit. It's just difficult to get it right. So um, if this does not get engraved correctly, if I mess up, then that means I have to do another another uh, piece. So this, this will be a waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and we can try it. And I gotta draw up the, uh, the stuff on there and, and measure it and all that good stuff. So let's go. Okay, so the reason why I cut this piece right here into one piece, because I could have just made it two pieces right here, uh, just one piece of uh, plexiglass, but the reason why I cut it in two is because he, he wants this plexiglass engraved, so if I were to mess this piece up, all I have to do is just cut another piece instead of, uh, you know, cutting one big piece again, so. Okay, so I measured it, and basically what I did was, this is where the zero is going to be set at this little point right here and so all I did was since this is a weird um, like design and it's not square I just went ahead and uh, I measured this side the top and then I measured I just drew a line all the way down which I know it goes it goes over and uh, what I'm doing I'm, I'm making an actual square box and then I'm going to take the design that we that we actually made I'm gonna put that in the box and then I'm gonna align the text like right up here. So really it's gonna it's gonna turn out the way we want it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that now.
Yo guys, so the uh the cutout failed. Um let's go over here and, and I'll show you guys wherever I put it, I don't even know where I put it. I might have thrown it away. Uh right here. So as you guys can see, you just watched the uh the plexiglass engraving. Um it is very hard to do with a CNC machine. Um and I have not mastered it. But uh this was what came out and as you can see this one right here the little one um, uh, it was a test and uh, it looks good but then you go over to this one and what happens is the plastic wraps around the bit and it just messes up and that's why it looks like I don't even know how to explain it but it does not look good at all this is the new one and I got it lined up, so I'm gonna take it into uh, the local shop up here in Culpeper, um, and I'm going to get that plexiglass engraved with a. They have a, a laser engraver, and I'm just gonna take it to them and get it done, uh, and it'll, it'll take like five minutes. So, hey right, guys, so I took the piece of plexiglass to the actual shop in town where they do laser engraving, and it came out really good. This is the piece, let me take it out of the plastic so you can see. And it, it, it looks really good. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these consoles right now. And while, if you guys have watched it this long so far, leave a comment below and let me know how many different Under Armour shirts I've worn during this video. Alright guys, these consoles are done. Let's go take a look at them. Alright guys, so here's the final product. This one isn't going to boot because I don't have it plugged into the, to the TV. So. Has pretty good boot times.
And this one, we plug this in, and this one should boot as well. So let's actually test the boot times again on this one. See, they're pretty good. See, it's got pretty good boot times. This console looks amazing. But yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully if you guys want a console, you get one from me. So, yeah, hope, I hope Jester enjoys these two consoles. Uh, I know one is going to his friend and this one is going to him. And, yeah, hope you guys have a great day.